Well, I, this is a really good scrimmage. Uh, it was kind of what I was hoping to see today as far as how we, how we uh, organized the scrimmage and scripted it. Uh, pretty dominant performance by our, our first group offensively and pretty dominant performance by our first group defensively. Uh, we, we've, been, we've been ones on ones all camp and then this, this last scrimmage you like, usually like to mix it up a little bit and uh, the whole scrimmage was our first team defense on the second O and, and the first O versus the second D and uh, both groups dominated the scrimmage uh, with, the, with the exception of overtime. The, uh, the second groups won the overtime competition, so uh, they punched it in for a touchdown and, and uh, the first groups you know, got a field goal. But uh, worked, worked good overtime, worked a lot of two minute, uh, worked a lot of special uh, clock situations, uh, just trying to kind of get everybody ready for anything that could happen, both sides of the ball. Uh, did a lot of kicking today, a lot of return, a lot of field goals. Uh, cannot, cannot say enough good things about Greg Hugel. I've learned his name, and uh, I even know how to spell it: H-E-U-G-E-L. Hugel. Uh, so, uh, really proud of him. Really, really proud of him. He, he, he was as bad as he was uh, the last time he was in the stadium. He didn't handle that very well. He was, he was impressive today. Uh, had about four game winners. Kicked a 53-yarder to win the game right there at the end. Uh, you know, he's, he's, as we start our game prep tomorrow, he, he's the guy that will, that will start for us at, at kicker. Uh, he's earned that in camp. Uh, proud of him. You know, Spence competed hard, uh, but, but uh, right now we're at a point where we've got to make decisions and move forward and, and uh, really, really pleased with what I've seen out of that young man. So um, right now he gives us the best chance to win and has, has been outside of the one day that he had in this stadium. He, he's really been outstanding, so uh, happy for him. And uh, we'll, we'll start we'll start making sure all those reps are divvied up the way they need to be moving forward and start building that continuity like we want. Uh, Tease Dahl had a, a solid day, um, but a lot of good things. Uh, Gallman uh, ran the ball well. Our first group offensive line was, was impressive, especially in the running game. Deshaun was sharp. Um, we rested, we rested uh, Sharon and Mike uh, a good bit. They got some reps, but we really wanted to strain those young guys, and uh, for the most part, they did a good job. Ray Ray did not have a good day. Just first day, he kind of looked like a freshman today. He said he didn't eat all day, uh, so that's not a good way to get yourself ready for practice. Uh, but but he's had an incredible camp. Uh, but uh, today wasn't one of his better days. But you know, all, overall, you know, a lot of good things that we're going to be able to learn from this tape. But but it it kind of went like I hoped it would go. Uh, really feel good about both first groups, and I think both of them are walking off the field with some confidence today. But in order for us to be a great team, in order for us to be an elite team, um, you know, we, we, we kind of exposed some of those backups today and they got a little dose of, of reality as far as where they need to be. Uh, and so, I, you know, that's the, that's the goal is to, you know, get them ready, uh, you know, as fast as we can. And, and uh, you know, the way our schedule sets up with an early open date, hopefully by the time we get into that middle of the season, we've got a bunch of these young guys that are uh, going to be able to help us down the stretch. Early uh, offensive line, your lead guys. Uh, same group. It's been uh, you know, Hyde at left guard and, and Mack at, I mean, uh, Hyde at left tackle, Mack at left guard, uh, Norton at center, uh, Crowder at right guard, and, and Fru at right tackle, and then um, uh, Gore at right tackle, and then really, really close is Fru Morgan and Guillermo. Falsinelli uh, and Hearn, all those guys, we, we're not afraid to play any of those guys. I mean, we really feel good about that group. So uh, we feel like we got a good situation uh, up front there. Hyatt's still looking good? Hyatt's looks very good. Who's leading the, the competition for the kickoff spot? Uh, that, that we hadn't made a decision on. Uh, you know, Spence has done a, a solid job there, but but I, I think Hugel's still just a little bit ahead. Uh, so, you know, right now he's he's – Definitely has won the, the field goal job and, and uh, uh, is a little bit ahead on the kickoff. So that's something that we're going to continue to evaluate. Spence has been pretty solid there, but hey, Spence has been solid really at field goals too. It's just Hugo has been really good. He has been really, really good. He's won the job. Did Lake up, uh, participate this previously? Uh, he was here, but no, we, we didn't. We didn't work him. Ammon, Ammon will miss the first three games. Uh, he, he's back on the team and. Um, uh, I know there's probably been a lot of conversation, but but he, he will definitely be out these first three weeks, and then he'll come back and, and they'll have an open date to 
get back out and compete. And obviously, we'll have some performance with with our with Hugo or Spence or whoever ends up being out there, uh, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, you know, it's that's the consequences. You know, and he's uh, he's a senior. Uh, I really haven't had any problems with him. He's been a solid guy, citizen since he's been here. But you know, your seniors should be at their best and should know. Um, and so, uh, you know, he'll, he's done everything we've asked him to do, and so now he's just got his team punishment, uh, which is three games, and then he'll, he'll be back full graces with the Tigers, and if he wins the job back, good for him. Uh, you know, but I hope that Greg goes out there and is 10 for 10 in the first three games. So we'll see what happens. Are you closer to getting the depth of D-line figured out? Uh, not really. Uh, we're, we're, we've got a lot of guys that we're trying to work, a lot of guys we're trying to rep. I think it's going to become a more clear picture as we get into scout teams and stuff. Uh, we're going to take the next couple days and we're going to do some season prep, and then we're going to go all Wofford prep starting uh, Monday. Um, and so as you start really repping two groups, you know, kind of it kind of gets concentrated a little bit more. And I think that'll become clear. I mean, we know who our, our first guys are, and, and we know Pagano is going to help us. And um, you know, we we, we know that uh, uh, you know those those backup ends. Yergin uh, is going to help us. Austin Bryant is coming on. Uh, we've got Dane Rogers. We moved back out to end. He, he's 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 in a little better spot for him right now competitively uh, with our numbers inside. So you know, we'll see. How it all plays out, but we got a we got a bunch. Of, the good news is, is we got a good group that's all scrapping and competing for playing time, which is going to make us better and, and and create the edge that we need. A lot of hungry guys over there in that defensive line. How about the injuries today? Uh, no, I think came through it okay. Uh, 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 G Hop got the air knocked out of him, uh, but he was able to jog off, so I assume he's okay. Time for one more question. Nobody's really talked about the tight end group. Is there anybody that's really distinguished himself? Leggett. Leggett. He's he had a I don't know, he had a, had a I was gonna say about a sixty yard touchdown today. Leggett has Leggett has had by far I mean not even close, the best camp, best practices that he's had since he's been at Clemson. Uh, he's just he's just gotten serious about it. He's decided he, that he's gonna work hard, he's gonna be bring it every day, he's got the right look in his eye. Uh, Seconder is just Giving us everything he's got, uh, you can just count on him. He's been solid too. He's still working his way back. Um, and then you got, uh, you know, Mylan and Cannon are, are just young bucks that have both shown some good, good flashes and, and are going to have to help us this year. Um, but the uh, the guy that has has really jumped out is is Garrett Williams. Uh, he he's he's going to be able to help this football team. Uh, JJ has had his moments. You know, we all know his talent uh, has has quietly had a solid camp. Uh, so we'll see if he can continue to, to work his way down that path. Real quick, who do you like at nickel? Who do I like at nickel? Well, Travis is our starter. And uh, that's what he started at his whole year as a freshman. He played nickel for us and was a freshman All-American there. So he's got a lot of, lot of experience. Uh, and then Dorian O'Daniel, those two guys really give us uh, a good one-two punch at that position. That's one of the better positions, I think, on our team is with Travis and, uh, and Dorian and then T.J. Burrell. Is our is our other guy that's working in there? Guys, I got a lot of good. Okay, thank you.